it's no word of a lie that there's some sort of stigma related to the reptile keeping hobby. After telling people about my animals, I often receive the response, but you seem so normal. Over the years, poor keepers and people getting the animals for the wrong reasons, to look cool or quirky in front of their friends, has left a negative reputation. But within recent years, and it may just be because I'm deep within the hobby now, maybe it's a biased opinion, but it seems reptile keepers have become much more open and almost accepted by the general public. So let's have a look at why I think reptiles make such great pets. Classic pets tend to revolve around a small aquarium, rabbits, guinea pigs and small rodents. But fish are some of the most complex home creatures to take care of. Rabbits and guinea pigs are far more demanding than most people realise. Hamsters and gerbils, given a large enough suitable enclosure, aren't too demanding in comparison. In reality, I don't see a big difference in difficulty. So long as the knowledge and resources are there, reptiles are just as simple or complicated as their furry counterparts. Half the fun of keeping reptiles is trying to create a naturalistic environment, a piece of nature in your own home. Not only does this provide the best environment for your pet, but it also acts as a second TV. Watching these different forms of life go about their business. While some people opt for simple enclosures, built with some ornaments and newspaper for easy cleaning. These generally lack enrichment, and don't provide some key features needed for your animal to exhibit natural behaviours. And a bioactive enclosure is quite easy to achieve. Not only do the little creatures add more life to the setup, but they'll also help keep it clean, removing the need for a full clean, ever. Straight away relieving some timely responsibility. Reptiles come in all shapes, sizes and colours. Although they're not always the most active animals, sometimes spending hours on end seemingly without moving an inch. Their unique anatomy leads to endless fascination. But the lack of facial expression shouldn't be dismissed as a lack of personality. Some are bold and somewhat unforgiving. Some are slightly more jumpy, and some, believe it or not, love nothing more than some interaction with their keeper. Of course this all comes with training, and you'll get to learn your animal as they learn you. Aiming to form a healthy respect is best, avoid forced manual handling, and allow the animal to behave how they prefer, without being forced. An unexpected benefit, although some reptiles consume veggies, many rely on an insectivorous diet. This led to me developing a much larger respect, interest and comfort around invertebrates, diminishing irrational fears. Although spiders, we still have a way to go. Reptiles are truly interesting animals, often catching people's eyes and kindling a passion they never knew was there. At the same time, keeping reptiles will expand your knowledge. And in a bid to save money, many keepers develop their DIY skills. But it wouldn't be right of me to advocate keeping reptiles without touching on a few of the disadvantages to take into consideration before bringing home a scaly pet. It's fair to say, reptiles aren't cheap. The most cost-effective way is to invest in the initial build, 
with quality equipment and a somewhat permanent enclosure, avoiding further costs down the line. The right way to do things, kit out before bringing home an animal. But not only set up, the heating and lighting elements most reptiles require will surely bump up the electric bill. So before committing, whip out a calculator and see if your disposable income is enough to comfortably fund the interest. If not, the only one that suffers will be the animal. Although the more frequent exposure to bugs may help squelch irrational fears, you'll likely have to deal with the odd escapee in your house. While generally they won't harm your home, they may cause some resident skin to crawl at the thought. Of course, bites, as with any animal are a possibility, often defensive rather than aggressive. But there's another danger to be wary of. Many reptiles harbour salmonella on their skin. A very well known bacteria causing food poisoning. Cleanliness is key. And as expected, time. I spend at least an hour each morning before work, just checking waters, spraying vivs, checking heating and following feeding routines. And this doesn't include the time it takes to health check and carry out other routines. As with any animal, they're time consuming and your life will start to revolve around them. I often spend at least three hours a day just catering to my animals, before and after work. Having people over to look after them if you go on holiday, and still tending to their needs even when you're under the weather. The main basis is research, research and more research. I cannot stress enough that building an enclosure correctly from the start and knowing what to feed your animal, whether bugs, veg, fruit, calcium supplements, other supplements, will save a ton of stress down the line. And create an environment capable of keeping your new pet as happy as possible. Generally, the happier the animal, the more colourful, the less aggressive and the more active all around a much more intriguing experience for you both. All in all, keeping reptiles makes for a very rewarding experience. Not only enjoyable, but also in developing knowledge of animals and an understanding of the equipment. The main key is to do your research and ensure not only the animal is right for you, but are you right for the animal. Because the more you put into the experience, the more you get out of it. And for any beginners watching this video, in the description I'll leave a list of some brands that have worked really well for me. So you don't start off on the wrong foot and buy some products that might end up failing quite soon. Of course, it depends on what species you get and what reptile you get, as to what you may need. But if you have any questions, feel free to give me an ask. And hopefully, I might have some experience with the animal.